I think it's really important to inspire kids in science because science isn't just a job. It's a way of thinking. It's, uh, it affects every aspect of your life. You can't not know science and be a, a responsible citizen, really. And for me, I think one of the things I'm aiming to do in my classroom is develop citizens. I don't think they all need to be scientists, but I think they need to see that science is part of their life. I try to differentiate content as much as possible in a senior curriculum. I try to differentiate assessment and I try to differentiate how they get from the content to the assessment. I use something called multi-tiered assessment tasks which allows students to choose what level they're ready to challenge themselves with. When I first started this I suspected that students would choose the easy option and I've been really impressed by the fact that they do challenge themselves given the the opportunity. My proudest achievement I think is the number of my students that have gone on to study biology at tertiary education. That just thrills me to bits. In the last three years, students that I have supervised have won or come second in the Niwa Waikato Science Fair. In IB, we've had just ridiculously good marks in, in biology and yeah, that's been phenomenal. I think one of the massive differences that we've made over the last three years is that we've offered a scholarship support program to students involved in going away on a scholarship biology camp, which has been a massive hit with the kids and has increased the number of entries we've had, but has also increased the proportion of students that show up for the scholarship exam and our success in scholarships. St Peter's School has a farm that surrounds our whole campus and a few years ago we uh, embarked on a joint venture with Lincoln University to manage it as a demonstration farm. Through that relationship there we set up something called an Eco Blitz. The Eco Blitz is an opportunity for a group of students to work with experts to map and quantify the biodiversity at various sites around the school. One of the students analysed a ladybug and found that it's a unique species that hasn't been identified before, so we're waiting on confirmation, but she may have identified a new species, which is pretty exciting for her. The other major finding uh, of the Eco Blitz was the importance of something called coarse woody debris. It's essentially big bits of dead wood in an ecosystem and that these provide microhabitats that really encourage biodiversity in an ecosystem. And so that's a, a, a principle that we were go we're going to incorporate when we design wetland that we're going to be re restoring.